preschoolers. Today we're going to talk about our letters of the week, which are B and D. You guys all recognize the capital B and the capital D, but sometimes what gets us messed up is that lowercase b and the lowercase d, which looks so very much alike. So we're going to talk today about different ways to tell the difference between the lowercase b and the lowercase d. One of the ways that we can do it is to think about the capital B. There's a baby B inside every capital B. So if we make a capital B and we erase that top bump, there is our baby B. There's always a baby B in every capital B. Another way is that you can tell these apart is a cute little saying that goes B can see D. And that helps if they're together. If they're looking at each other, B comes first. B can see D. So when you look at them in the alphabet, that's kind of a helpful one. Um, the other one that is like this is if they're together like this, B does the walking while D is turned around doing the talking. So when they're facing each other, B's walking, B does the walking while D does the talking. And finally, one of my favorites that I think kids really, really remember is that B has a belly out front while D wears a diaper in the back. So if the bump is on the front, that's the belly, that's the B. If the bump is on the back, that's the diaper out back. B wears a belly in the front, D wears a diaper out back. A lot of this is memorization also. The kids will start to learn the difference between the B and the D. It's very common for kids um, in early childhood, even through first grade, to mix up the letters, especially the B and the D and some of the other lower cases. So if your kids are mixing up some of those letters and swapping some out or writing some even backwards, it's totally normal for this age. There are a few tips to help you distinguish between the lowercase b and the lowercase d, and I hope this helps. Yes.